computers. When you hear that word, you probably think of those terrible netbooks you're forced to type your essay on, your smartphone you carry around everywhere, or that one big box at home that your brother keeps hogging. The first two incomplete computer, ENIAC, was created in 1946, so around 70 years ago. We can safely say that computer has been around for 70 years, right? Well, it depends on what you call a computer. The ENIAC was the first Turing complete digital computer, but what actually is a computer? Let's look at the definition of the root word compute to calculate. Alright, so a computer is a thing that calculates something. Using that definition, the abacus from ancient Mesopotamian and Egyptian times could be considered computers. But we need to go deeper, back 13.8 billion years ago to the Big Bang. When the first atoms were formed out of the Big Bang, they gradually changed and new atoms were formed out of supernova explosions, adding more protons, electrons, and neutrons. This can be linked back to what computers today use as a basic system of on or off. An atom either has a certain number of protons or it doesn't. This defines what an element is entirely, and it's the same with computers. Then lots of stuff happened, and a few billion years later, we have life. Life is essentially the exact same as computer programming. When we look at a strand of DNA, we can see a bunch of proteins instructing the body on how to create everything extremely precisely. DNA is essentially the code for life, much like the low-level assembly language that tells processors directly what to do. It compiles down to raw ones and zeros in binary, which the computer then executes. This is comparable to how the body just can't use the proteins in DNA to create everything. It must go through RNA, or a compiler for computers. RNA translates the proteins into a sort of code that the body can use to create all of the organs in the body. This is exactly what a computer does with a compiler. The compiler takes the code the programmer wrote and translates it into code that the processor can use, so ones and zeros.